Hi guys, it's Lisa Adams from LA Closet Design and I'm so excited to be shooting another video in my dressing room. Today I'm going to be talking about boots, how to clean them, how to maintain them, and how to store them. For me, I don't like things that require 10 steps. Um, you know, that goes for my skin, for, you know, any regimen. I feel like I like it simplified. I want to know what the best products out there are. Um, and then I want to simplify that process. I think if you overcomplicate it, you know, tendency is not even to clean them. So you don't want to do that. And I think that backfires. So before I talk about how to store boots, I feel like, you know, in the sequencing of it, you know, it starts with buying the boot, right? So you get your brand new pair of boots um, and it starts there. What do you do? So we're going to pretend that this is a new suede boot. Um, I didn't want to grab a black boot just because I really wanted a lighter boot to be able to show you guys, you know, how the sprays work, how it looks on the suede and that you can really see it. So we're going to pretend that this is a brand new boot that you just got. First thing you want to do is use a Kiwi suede waterproof spray. And this you can find at Target. Um, so this is this is great. You need this. This is the Scotch Guard. Um, it adds, you know, a protective layer to the suede boot. And again, you want to make sure that you use, you know, you get the suede, new buck, or the leather spray. But this one is for, for suede. Uh, make sure that you're in a space with, you know, appropriate ventilation. You've got the windows open um, just because this is a spray. And what you want to do, again, this is your new boot, is spray about six to eight inches away from the boot and you want to spray it all over. So this is a waterproof spray and you, you know, pretend like it's really just adding a layer. So when it rains, you go outside, you know, the water is going to repel against this. So this is absolutely necessary. Um, then, you know, next step, you wear your boot out. So you go outside, wear it for the day, you come back home. What do you do? So, you know, I like to get in the habit of, I keep all of my shoes and boots in the closet, in the house, so it's not going in a basement or at the entryway, really comes in. So anything that comes into the closet, I wanna make sure is clean, so that it's clean on the shelves. Um, so first thing is to use this brush and you know wipe away any dirt debris from the bottom of your shoe you can use a wipe you can use a brush i love this this is from amazon and it's got a dual side so depending on the material um, you don't have to buy you know five different brushes it really caters to every every fabric um, so this is great you know anywhere where you see dirt debris you want to just wipe away suede i feel like i follow a two-step process which you know it's very simple so use the brush this is a uh, like a magic eraser. It's an eraser for suede. Any spots, any debris that didn't get off with the brush, you want to use this eraser. It works like magic. Um, so anywhere you've got some markings, dirt, use it. The, the one thing you want to pay attention to is going in the same direction. So you don't want to go in a circular motion. Just really sort of follow the grain, follow the fabric, and just go in one direction. Then once you've done that, you wanna use this Kiwi Suede Cleaner. Um, and so once you've done the brushing, the erasing, then what you wanna do, again, six to eight inches apart, you wanna spray. And this is, think of it as a conditioner, a cleaner. Um, so once you've done that and then spray, use a microfiber cloth and just sort of wipe it away again in the same direction. This is not a new boot, but it's looking really good. Um, next, leather boot. So I'm going to show you this tall boot. Um, so for leather, um, again, simplify the process. Um, for daily use, what you want to do, you can use the brush, you know, after you've worn it, you can clean the bottoms using the brush. You can also use leather wipes, and those can be found at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't have them with me, but they're amazing. Again, go get them. They're just like Clorox wipes, Lysol wipes. I think that they're in stock. I don't think people are hoarding those, um, but that's great for really just daily use. So once you've worn your leather boot out, before you bring it into the closet, just really wipe it down. Wipe everywhere, um, and then toss the wipe. Um, this is a conditioner. So this is Guardsman Renew and Protect Leather. This can be found at Bed Bath & Beyond. And this is, think of it like a conditioner. So just like the suede, we had this sort of cleaner. This is what I like for leather. 
So you wanna shake the bottle, dab onto your microfiber cloth, and then really just clean it everywhere. And this I like to use more as sort of a long-term solution. So, you know, every six months, every year, but this is, you know, not sort of a daily, but before you store it away, it's a good idea to just really get it conditioned. Um, you know, if you've got any major scuffs, you know, then I would take it to the, to the repair place before you store it. But, you know, if it's just normal wear and tear, then I feel like Guardsman is, is great for that. If you do have scuffs, I mean, we all do, it's sort of the inevitable of wearing boots, especially at the toe bed. Um, I like to use this Kiwi scuff cover and it can, you know, they have for black boots, brown boots, white boots, it's great. So what you wanna do is shake. It's got this really soft, spongy material. So if you've got any scuff marks at the toe bed, at the heel, shake, and then what you wanna do is just dab wherever you've got scuff marks and the liquid sort of penetrates the sponge. And you can also use this for patent leather. So, so that's great for that. Again, with patent, I like to use my patent boot as a rain boot. Um, it's, it really just does a nice, nice job naturally of repelling the water. But, you know, in terms of scuffs, I would take, you know, if you've got a major scuff, take that to the shoe repair place. So we've got how to clean it, how to maintain it. Now, you know, how do you store this? So for this tall boot, um, you know, I you want to make sure that it's got its shape. So what I like to do is use a boot shaper. Um, you could use a boot tree too, but I like it to come up to shin height. And then from there up to the top, to use acid free paper and stuff, 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 so that it, like its mate, can stand straight. There are no creases, it's really maintaining the shape. If you don't have space, and I totally get that, you wanna make sure that you store it properly. So laying it flat is a good idea. What you don't wanna do is sort of fold it over at the top. That really does, you know, makes a crease there. It does damage to the leather. So you wanna make sure that you find a box or you lay it in a shelf that th that's this wide so that there's no folding over. So I've got these boots as an example. Um, they're clean, they're stuffed, so it's maintaining its shape. And then I like to use this leather box. If you've got the dust bag for the boot, put, put it, you know, make sure that it's covered. That's just another added layer of protection. And then you want to make sure that the boot is sitting in there. So there's no folding. It fits properly. This leather box, we sell them, LAClosetDesign.com. But you don't have to get it. If you have a taller boot, you know, it doesn't fit. You want to make sure that the most important thing is to find the box that fits the boot. It can go on a bottom shelf, top shelf, you know, basement, wherever you store your seasonal. So if you're not wearing it year round, that's a good way to sort of protect it, ensure that it's going to be ready to go when you're ready for it. I live in LA. So for me, we're not wearing tall boots all the time. I don't have that many. So I do like to see them in my closet and I love boot trees. It's so great for the boot especially for this size. I feel like they're amazing, but it protects the leather, the shape, and then you can see that there's a hook here. So it hooks onto the rod. I feel like it's protected. I see it, I clean it. Um, you know, the only thing would be dust. So just making sure that, you know, dust properly. But, you know, for me, it's sort of weighing the cost and, you know, benefit of seeing the boot, wearing the boot seeing it, you know, planning outfits versus it being stored away, not seeing it and not using it. I think that's far worse for me. Thank you guys for watching. You can find all of the products at the link in the video. You can also find it on Closet File. And leave a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. So if you want me to talk about something specifically, let me know. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.